are going to Netherlands. I don't like the way I said that. <laughs> kind of stumbled over my word. We are going to the Netherlands. We are gonna go stay by the sea for three days in a place that I cannot pronounce, but between The Hague and Amsterdam. And then we're gonna go into Amsterdam for three days. So yeah, right now we're just waiting on the bus. It's a four hour ride, I think. But there's Wi-Fi, plugs, and a toilet on the bus. So I think it should be nice. That's some fancy ass bus -ery. <laughs> Our bus we booked through Blah Blah Car. Um, so Blah Blah Bus. It was 40 euro for the two of us for um, Cologne to Amsterdam. So we made it to the Netherlands, we made it to The Hague, and we found some food. We are just chilling here, they have like a workspace, a place where you can do some work on your laptop. So we've been doing some work, and we're gonna head to our hostel. Okay, we are at our hostel, which is the Flying Pig Beach Hotel, or Beach Hostel. Um, I think there are a couple of their Flying Pig Hotels in Amsterdam itself. There's like an uptown one and a downtown one. Um, but we are slightly outside Amsterdam at a place called Norwijk, I think. Um, that's probably not how you pronounce it properly, but um, so far, so good. The reception the man at the reception was very very nice he gave us this map with lots of little food options where the supermarket is things to do i think we're gonna go for a walk explore a little bit maybe go look at the beach and yeah then i don't know what we're gonna do Bikes are quite like useful to get places here, and it's like cheaper. We could ride all the way to Amsterdam on a, on a bike <laughs> and back. It's we're really close, so just go to Harlem. I wouldn't mind going to Harlem. I wonder how long it would take us to cycle to Leiden. That's pretty far, I think. You don't know about cycling to Amsterdam. That sounds way further than Leiden. Wait, Leiden? Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm not uh, not that good at geography. Okay, now that's a casino. That's not a shopping center. I like that. The dark one is vegan. Hands off my chocolate. Caramel sea salt hazelnut praline. I mean, come on. So unfortunately the audio for this part was not great. There was pretty loud music playing in the background so you couldn't really hear what I was saying. But what I am explaining is that in the Netherlands they eat sprinkles on bread. And I remember being a kid and coming to the Netherlands for the first time, maybe when I was seven or eight, and being introduced to this idea and just having my mind blown. <laughs> like it's one of the most vivid memories I have as a kid is learning that this was a thing that people did <laughs> and i just thought it was so smart so since we were in the netherlands obviously had to do as they do in the netherlands and have sprinkles on bread 
ignore the fact that I tried to open this ripper box from the top when there's a handy little side door. <laughs> So it is very rainy outside, but we are still going to wander out to go for a walk, explore some sand dunes. Um, we decided not to rent bikes today because it is raining, so this way we could just come back whenever we get too wet or too cold. Um, but I think possibly we will um, look at hiring a bike for tomorrow. Um, but for today, we're just going to wander and explore in the rain. So I think... This is a lighthouse. Well, I'm fairly sure it's a lighthouse. But uh, it's not a very impressive lighthouse. It's kind of weird and a bit crap. <laughs> Usually lighthouses are quite cool, but this one isn't, isn't the best, in my humble opinion. Not that I know very much about lighthouses, but it's a bit underwhelming, I must say. Cool. It's very far. Why is it so far inland? Right? Why is it further out to warn ships? You want to try speak some Dutch? Translate what this statue is? Something about family, I'm gonna say. Go swimming. <laughs> hmm? No, I know. But at some point. Maybe. <laughs> Jellyfish here. The other side just says the same thing. Also, there's a handy dandy diagram of how to escape a rip current. Oh, I've got chocolate on my finger. So, if you get caught in a rip current, you lie on your back or you swim. I don't know, that diagram's confusing. They think don't lie on your back. You can escape down. And down and around. I don't know. This is not helpful. I have not learned how to escape a rip current. different paths there's this path that we're on which is the walking path and then there's a flatter path that is also um, what do you call it it's got like cement on it for cycling mm -hmm. 